Hey guys, finishing this ditch for a client in Cape Town, and he asked me what happens if the beeswax mouthpiece that I make for him breaks somewhere along the line and what to do in the future. And obviously, as a ditch player and having lots of ditch reviews and traveling around, your ditch's mouthpieces will need some TLC and love in the future. So I thought I'd make a video on how to make mouthpieces on the didgeridoo. Um, basically what we're trying to do by making a mouthpiece is trying to make a cushion over the end here that also minimizes the gap to about 25 millimeters. 25 millimeters is for me the perfect playing size for my mouth. And I'm trying to make a round cushion out of wax that my mouth will make the vibration through the ditch with. Um, you may find that in your own style you might mount it a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, but that's the beauty of a beeswax mouthpiece is that you can actually change it whenever you want to. So to make a beeswax mouthpiece, um, you first need to go and find someone that likes having bees and they'll sell you some wax. Um, I bought this wax at 191 grams, it cost me about 30 rand. And what I did is I cut it in half and I'm now floating it in a tub over water and trying not to get the water to fall in the sides. Maybe I need to move it to a bigger tub and if you see it in a later video that it is floating in a bigger tub it's because you don't want water to come on the sides. But what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to, I'm trying to melt this wax over a heat that's not going to set it on fire because beeswax is flammable. So we need to melt this whole box into this tub and once that's done we'll have another video. <laughs>